Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the full moon in Virgo, full moon of February, and it'll be full on Saturday. This is a micro moon. So what does that mean? It means it'll appear smaller in the sky if you have clear skies where you're at. But we want to get into how is this affecting twin flames? Because that's why you're here. So to kind of break this down, I put this on my board because you may have felt it start from the new moon roughly two weeks ago. It is especially going to affect reproductive systems. Now pay attention to what I'm saying here. Reproductive systems doesn't just mean the private part area. Reproductive means a system. You can have headaches. This can affect your sense of balance, your coordination, your, you know, sense of yourself. It's going to affect your joints. It is going to affect a lot of parts of you. Migraine headaches, head pressure. There are other emotional things that go with it. I have been calling this the full moon of truth. It's moon of truth. It's done. It's not do or die. Okay, you won't die. But I want to let you know it's it's do or denial. Okay, are you in denial about some things? It's time to start acknowledging that this is still happening. You're still having symptoms. You're still having an ascension. You may be discouraged because maybe you're kind of really tired that, you know, some person isn't. Don't make it about a person. Make it about you. Okay, because that's how you're going to progress and make it's a process. You have to do you. That's not a joke. That's not just a saying or, you know, some slangy thing to throw around. So let's talk about here. I have the what to do, what it is and what it is not. Okay. You're going to notice some things. Things are getting glaringly obvious and still people need to wake up. And this isn't about just wake up like, oh, I had an activation. Oh, I'm having a spiritual awakening. It's no longer the, you know, fluffy, but kind of stuff that you might see out there. This is about roll up your sleeves. I'm from Chicago. Okay. We get really rough weather. We are accustomed to rolling up our sleeves and just doing the things that need to get done. Don't go by the media. You can go all around and you can see people just doing the slogging stuff that needs to get done. It doesn't have to be slogging. With my methods called Twin Flame Reconnection, you can actually do it a lot more efficiently and easier. So it should be about sensible, be sensible, use your common sense and balance that. Now, some people have trouble with that because they're troubled by incoming messages, or maybe they've taken it to the extreme and they're like, if I round the corner and I see a blue car, please give me a sign. Come on. I mean, you should be knowing right now that's like obfuscating what your gifts and what your real intuitions and your real messaging is trying to tell you. Okay. This is when some people go into denial. They go into denial. They're just dabbling and they're denying, denied. I'm going to negate myself. I'm not going to negate any gifts that I, any real gifts that I have. Let's get a little deeper, shall we? So this is a moon of truth. It's being able to see the truths, but now it is about taking action. Okay, not just noticing the problems, but not doing by being. How do we do by being? You have to incorporate your light body. You have to incorporate the new light body, and you have to allow the swap out of the old body with its old patterns and allow the new stuff in. You cannot get the stuff done that happened at a lower level. You, you don't have to delve down there. We can do, we're getting to a level where now we can do this stuff by being who we are, okay? Not just being a kind-hearted person. Being means allow the expansion of your light body and really feeling it. Really feeling how it influences your senses, your direction, your guidance. It is your own sense, okay? 
Not what you perceive your twin flame is doing. They got their other side of the street to take care of. They got their own crap to deal with. You have to do yours. It's your own sense of things without going into denial. This is a little bit like tough love time because Virgo is a very earthy energy, but it also has to deal with purity, purity of purpose, purity of the sense of self, purity of your reproductive side. That means purity of your creative abilities too. You may feel like you're regrouping, okay? And with this can go saying bye-bye to groups or things that no longer served you. We're seeing that a little bit publicly where some people are like, church isn't cutting it for me. My own mother last night actually said, and we were raised Catholics, okay? She was like, I just don't see how eating fish every week is making a sacrifice. And that was huge for her, okay? And, you know, their parish that does do a lot of good work. Okay, they, they have like coat drives in the winter because it's brutal here sometimes. We like to take care of people. We like to do acts of service here, okay? But she's questioning some of the edicts. That could be you. Are you regrouping? Okay, that's what this moon is going to have an influence on your head, your mental process, your mental emotional connections. What are you connected to? What have you been connected to? What is influencing you? Okay, I, I hate words like the matrix. I hate words like programs, okay? Maybe they served a purpose in ancient times for your ancestors, but maybe in modern times, we need to just see the truth of it and take different actions. Okay, can we just simplify this? Instead of showing blame and guilt and all the other crap, please let's move along. This involves pacing oneself. You have to pace yourself on your journey. Otherwise, you will get confused and you will get discouraged and you will remain uninspired. See, I wore my Inspire shirt. You'll be uninspired. And Virgo, okay, for those of you who love tarot, if you're not really understanding that Virgo energy has to do with earth elements and pentacles, which means money, money, this is bringing the purity of everything you should love to light for you, okay, about truth, home, money, love, and being sensible. This doesn't mean, oh, I've got to move across the world. No. And, you know, when I, I've been doing this for close, I mean, 14, 15 years, I would have people in the beginning that would spend the last of their savings, they, they would be in tears and they'd be like, I don't know, I had to spend $4,000 to fly across the world and I don't know how I'm going to do this. Sensible. That's how we do it. Okay? Sensible. So this is happening in the wee hours of the morning. Expect to wake up, smell what's happening. Keep a little notebook by your nightstand, your bed, your floor, whatever. Reach for it. Write down something. Write down, ask. Hey, you got a message for me? I'm on it. I'm ready to write. What I say is your scribe awaits. I have all kinds of notebooks filled and I turn those into eight books. I turned them into 30 webinars on all these topics. That's how I did it. How do you not know what you're going to create? Inspire, get inspired, okay? Happening for a reason. It's gonna happen whether you believe it or not. That's the thing about love. It is relentless, but it loves you. It'll come for you, but it loves you. It will close the door on some things because it loves you. It will shut the door on some things because it loves you. It will nudge you into like, really? How's that working for you? How's that working for you, really? You still want to chase that idiot? How's that work? Focus on you, focus on you, focus on you, your own, okay? Some people can't handle the truth. And you know what they do? 
They notice the problems, but they don't do anything by being who they are. They shrivel up and they start withering on the vine. I don't want that for you. I want you to thrive on the vine. I want you to have a juicy harvest. I want you to really feel the passion, the passion that exists in you for everything life has to offer because you should be feeling the vibration of your food. That food made me sick or food's too much or those people, the way that they made the food. <laughs> okay, you don't like people's food? Come to me, I'll show you how to cook. I am a foodie, hands down. I talk about it all the time, okay? And what else? Ooh, this is a big one. Polarized tensions between people. You can hear it in songs. Oh, I just don't want to know about it if you're doing something. You're not going to know because I really don't care to share anything with you. Wait a minute. I'm still paying the bills. Yeah, and you know what? I'm a female, so you got to take care of the materialistic things, don't you think? Wait a minute. Where is my, what is filling my cup here? I don't know. You'll figure it out. Are you kidding me? So I'm kind of paraphrasing from a song where it's like, girl, you're sliding around. Girl, you went from being a housewife to a, a, a sneaky link. That's his words. Sneaky link. Which implies that somehow she's cheating. He's not sure. He doesn't want her to bring the cheater to the house. Okay? Polarized tensions. What is going on? What exactly is going on? How about if you're married? Okay, let's just take hypothetically. You're married. And your ascension comes for you. And you sit there and you say, but I love my husband. Really? What's the truth? Maybe you love what he's doing for you. Maybe you love that he's a good provider. Maybe you love that he is, you know, maybe a good dad or he's okay. You know, you get a little bit intimacy, but for you, it's going wow, 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 wow. And anything else looks much more exciting. Guess what that does? You just polarized your energy. Wow, 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 wow. Where can we find the middle ground with this? Well, the first thing is you use your brand new light body. Because that's going to help you detach from, I don't know, people who are scammers, people who are gold diggers. It happens on both sides. Men get baby trapped too, okay? Now with all the genetic testing, people can really find out who's the daddy and who's, you know, who's been doing what. Some people don't like the truth to come out because they're afraid. Why are we afraid? Why are we afraid of people's tempers? The fear comes in because of violence. Because people have had no emotional regulation and the more that this has delved down into these really deep, icky things of old patterns of flirting but not committing, people have one foot out the door, okay? The one thing I will say is commit to your ascension. You're ascending whether you like it or not, and it's either going to be pried from your cold, dead fingers while you feel like you've withered on the vine and your world collapses. Or you can be proactive and be sensible and pace yourself and learn how to pace yourself with my methods. That is what I specialize in. Okay, so what about these old patterns of lying, cheating, infidelity, skimming? This happens at work. Okay, where you get your money. Ever heard of embezzling? Yeah, old patterns. Love, affairs at work, having crushes on people at work. And you might know better, but you're like, what the heck is happening to me? Okay, use my method. Come back to yourself and your own sense, your own sense and sensibility. This is not a Jane Austen novel, but this is about senses, sensibility, your heightened senses. In fact, in my webinar this weekend and Sunday,
that is what we are talking about. We are talking about your other twin flamey angelic human angelic senses and what they are and how do you develop them okay old patterns dabbling some people think that their ascension is just to dabble in i'm going to tell you right now virgo is about re being re-virginized it is about purity of love bring back the purity okay now look in the years I've been doing this, I have had women give $60,000 to a man who told them he loved them and she willingly handed it over for him to make a non-existent film when he, while he went off with his real girlfriend. $40,000 to a Hindu monk who has supposedly taken vows of chastity and other vows and somehow managed to have an affair with her. Okay, she felt so duped. Someone who was tricked, not with a gun to her head, but with love words, words of love. Okay, false flirting, but not committing. And it's not that their senses didn't tell them anything. Their hope that someone loved them made them want to believe. Okay. But it's time to wake up and smell what's happening, okay? This includes in everything, everything, things you're seeing in the media, things that you see on the news, okay? It's like if, you, if you've ever seen those houses where they have like the hoarders or you drive in your neighborhood and you see houses that are neglected, by now... You know things about this because it's been exposed. It has come up for healing. These things are coming up to be healed. People are vomiting it out. You have to rinse it off your shoes. Get the hose out, okay? Let's hose them off, okay? Please stop. Stop all that stuff, okay? I just don't know why I awakened if I'm not going to, like, be with someone. You are going to be with someone. Learn to feel how it is, who it is through Patricia's methods. It works. Yes, it works. And also, eyes open. You already have a connection to your person. How foolish would we believe be if we hadn't set it up before we were even babies? Before you were even a sparkle in your mama's eye? No matter what parents you came into, and some of them are like the freight train, okay? It's not pretty. It's getting the job done, but it is not pretty, okay? You're here to heal even that and take away these polarized tensions. Like you want to love your parents, but somehow they're kind of despicable. Or they do, have done not esteemable things, okay? They neglected you. They didn't take care of you. I have a session for that, the inner child, because these patterns, okay, some people are the children of non-love, okay? Your mama just got pregnant or someone impregnated her. When I talk about, for women, the purity of love, guess what? Guess what? You, yes, both of you, you are going to get rid of every son of a gun that ever climbed aboard and made your body do his bidding. And whether or not you thought you were in love or you weren't, or it was just sex you didn't want. What? What? Yeah, there's a lot of, like, I can't even really respond. I feel like I'm kind of dead. Yeah, I'm experiencing bed death. Well, guess what? Every son of a gun that has ever tried or gotten there guess what your soul wants you to be re-virginized purified now people don't understand that process but that is also one of the things that when i woke up and i went through it i wrote it down productively you know i had to condense it make it efficient because it was a lot so why are you having these headaches well, if some idiot has climbed on board and they're banging away, guess what? There's a correspondence between there and your reproductive organs. Everything in your reproductive system is like, no, 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 get it out. Get these patterns out. 
I don't want the lying and the cheating. We got into a discussion about Irish twins, you know, like why are people doing sometimes the truth is, is it has been religion. Okay. It has been, um, you know, like putting the priority on the devotion of family. So, you know what, instead of going on and on about this, please join me. We're doing a mini workshop to help you with the aftermath of the moon. Okay. This moon already started. It's already intense. Get yourself some assistance mini workshop here. The links are below. The thing to know about this is why February 28th? Ah, that's an alignment. That's an alignment of the sensible and balanced common sense. What you would call the sweet masculine energy to come in and help guide you. So even though you are working with yourself for yourself there is masculine and feminine energy these are energies they exist okay doesn't matter where you are on the spectrum of your sexuality join us you'll be glad you did thank you so much and have a good day bye